due to the large-scale defeat and losses suffered, Azerbaijan has been trying in all ways possible to divert and provoke the attention of the public by publishing and disseminating false information and photos. This is a photo published by the assistant to the president of Azerbaijan, stating that a rocket was fired from the territory of the Republic of Armenia in the direction of the Mingachevir power units. The Armenian side denied that an offensive was launched from the territory of the Republic of Armenia, in this case in the direction of Mingachevir. This is, yet again, misinformation. Now it's an expert explanation of the situation. The distance between the Armenian border and Mingachevir is 108 kilometers which means it is impossible to strike the town of Mingachevir with a smirch missile from Armenian territories. Moreover, 108 kilometers is the distance from the Armenian border to the town of Mingachevir. But it's common knowledge that such heavy missiles cannot be fired from the border. The smirch can be used if installed at a certain depth. Since it loses balance, the combat part would disconnect, meaning it cannot land in this manner. This only shows the engine part. Falsification number two. Hajiev claims that the Smirch missile fell but did not explode. It is obvious from the photo that it had not massively hit. It was carefully brought and placed in a hole. A hole opened with the same attentiveness. If the length of the rocket was 7 meters and 80 centimeters, and it had submerged as much, this part should have been swollen. Neither the asphalt looks swollen, nor the rocket is visible. And falsification number three. If the rocket did explode and this is only part of it, where are the consequences, which of course could not have been prevented? If it did explode, and if they are showing the engine only, even the engine would not look like this. It would leave traces of impact when being submerged. In other words, the warhead must show where it fell and what damage it caused. The consequences can be seen from the Azerbaijani rockets which were fired in the direction of Stepanakert. Here are the shots where the missile has caused quite extensive damage to the capital of Artsakh. This means that the military and political leadership of Azerbaijan is engaged in spreading false information, feeling the powerful and punitive response of the Artsakh army.